it's very desert-like. It's quite nice to see that for once, summer makeup is not dewy skin. It's quite interesting, like the shape is quite straight and quite flat here. It's quite dark in the inner corner, on the outer corner, but very rectangular, which the shape is amazing. And the eyebrows are quite natural, quite brushed up, a bit wild, quite straight. I'm very bronze, but very, very matte, and a very, very nude lip. So it's quite simple, it's quite effortless, but at the same time, it's just a lot of desert colours. Everything's just flesh, flesh colours, which is nice. It actually makes the eye look, look more feline. So, the, you know, it's not so rounded, it's just quite, it goes up, straight, and that's, that's just the shape. Matte and bronze, which I think is quite beautiful. Well, we're here um, doing the hair backstage at Christian Agnebic. A beautiful look, quite strong. We're in London, so we need to do something that is um, quite unique. The inspiration is going to be Greece and the ancient Greece. We're going with a lot of texture. We're using a gel in the root area. Uh, we bring it all back. And on top, an inch, we're going to be using some leather thread that, as well as the dresses. And we're trying to create some nuts that they're going to have some volume, like little bumps. We're trying to do something that is similar to a, to a braid, but with a twist. So you see, it's quite unique. We get like a, a variation of texture to quite lacquer and wet into the root area, bringing it back. And then you see, we just create some nuts, a little wave that goes al along. You know, the waves, they kind of emulate the Mediterranean Ocean. So we didn't want to do something that is too curly, but yet we wanted to create those broken waves with very straight ends. We prep the hair with Moroccan all through the entire hair. We've been using uh, 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 the gel into the root area. And also hairspray, before we just curl any section, we use the hairspray and it's workable. So we brush it, give you a hold, but then you can just, you know, really create that beautiful texture. So it's a great transition and it's a very modern and sharp look. Started, we went on holiday to Greece to Mykonos. It's, it's a nice place, and then we, we wanted like the history behind, you know, like as a historical ancient uh, uh, place. And uh, they had an island just outside where we were. It's called Delos. It was the birthplace of Apollo. So it started with that, but then we went much deeper into the history. We got really inspired and we, we did a lot of research on, uh, on Greek mythology, but especially Apollo. And Apollo was what the god of light and he, he, there was also the python there, he was fighting the python. So, so we, we have a lot of uh, yeah. python elements yeah, into so our we, we connected with the, everything about uh, the mix of you know, the light uh, that he re represents and then also these dark forces and we tried to put that into a collection. We have a bit of the python and we have all these gold embellishments. What was new this time for us, we did a uh, laser cutting in uh, gold, like in metal, in gold. And uh, it's a new technique and that we felt was very representative for the research. So a lot of the images that we research, we transfer them into the yeah. embellishment, no? Yeah, so we go, you know, we go around and look for inspiring images and we take pictures and we develop them into mm. our fabrics, prints, uh, laser cuts, like mm. the metal. So everything is on the actual garment, yeah. which is great. So within the corset you see the griffin uh, which uh, started first to be appear in the ancient Greek uh, history. And that so was just a balcony. Yeah. We took a picture of a balcony, we saw it and we thought, oh this is amazing, we have to do something with it. And then we made all these corsets out of a similar image. It's mostly the, the Greek mythology and the hand embellishment which we follows every season, which we love to develop our own prints and uh, patterns. We have a, a lot of special lace that yeah. we developed as well for this collection 
to also to go. It's, you see the patterns of the lace. It's kind of like the waves of the ocean. This island was surrounded by oceans. So it's it's about the ocean and and you know the sort of godlike feeling there in the middle. This island. That's uh, yeah. For us, this time was very exciting with the, the metal cutout. It was new for us, it was a new way of working, shaping the pieces by hand. It's like really workmanship. So that was quite exciting because it was new. And also we have a lot of workmanship in the leather this time. Mm. It's a lot of sort of uh, braiding around the leather to put it all together. So it's not necessarily stitched together, it's just braided together, each piece. And yeah. also we develop our own uh, weave uh, fabric, woven fabric. Yeah which you, you find the elements of the griffin. The griffin as yeah. well. Yeah. Everything is sort of handmade from us, which, which is nice, yeah. We kind of do everything together. We like, yeah, we are with each other all the time, 24 yeah, hours. seven, yeah. I think we have what the connection is that we like the, the end result, we like the same thing. It's just that we come from different places and you can see it in the garment. So it's a, it's a nice mix. Yeah, we give yeah. different energy, you know, like a man and a woman. I think it's important because we, we make female clothes. So for me, it's also that it's important to work with a woman, you know. She's the one that would wear it in the end or, or can, you know, feel our customers oh. maybe more. Always feminine, sexy, yeah. but still have an edge and quite harsh. So yeah. <laughs> I wear everything, so I'm just like, for me, it's like a new wardrobe.